position where we are right now globally and what's happening yeah, with, but, with and, us. And, and, and Ian, you know, we said this this morning when we were speaking. There comes a time where you can't have everything being yellow and red, right? True. The country is red, white, and black. And sometimes, you know, the, the government of the day has always said they are very patriotic and the opposition is not patriotic. But there are some times that we must be able to put the politics aside and say this is something that will benefit us all as a country. And people, yes, it will always have the politics. They will always have favoritism for some and, and disadvantage to others. But this is something that has been worked on for years that people have not been able to, to, to manage to, to bring bring to just a conclusion where we could say Trinidad and Tobago could benefit. And nobody can deny that. The PNM was in power under Patrick Manning. They couldn't do it. The UNC was under power in Kamala Prasad. He said they couldn't do it. And for what is worth, I am not a big supporter, Dr. Rowley, but at the end of the day, the man has been able to do something that nobody else was able to do, right? And at the end of the day, you have a pipeline to build, you have the arrangements to work out, you have to find out how we could pay the people to get the gas, what arrangements are going to be put in place. But the announcement that the Prime Minister has made is one that can be of great benefit to the country. And we should, we should try and say, listen, this is Trinidad and Tobago. Let me put Trinidad and Tobago first. True, 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 true. But again, what some what people were asking is it that that, that in a, maybe in a year or a year and a half we're going to see things happening like this place is going to get better, similar to what we've seen in Guyana. I'm just asking well, questions that, that I'm getting in during listen, the course of the day. Listen, we went through a recession between nine between 1995 and 2000, uh, and Mr. Manning took over government in 2000 and and and. And 2002, right, when he and, up, we, and, um, yeah. and, and, and there was, there was uh, because of the, exactly what took place, because of the geopolitics at that time, we were a country that ah, was yes, producing natural gas, the price of natural gas, right, the right. price of natural gas was almost $12 per MMBQ, yeah. and Mr. Manning, you saw the development here, and we saw the development yeah, in the country, the waterfront and was and built, Napa was built, Snapper was built, Snapper was built, you saw tremendous, the government plaza was built. We saw tremendous, tremendous and development. Were employed. And we have to understand that at the end of the day, let us let us hope that the government will use this opportunity when the time comes and we are able to do this, that the right arrangements can be put in place. Dr. Rowley said when he made the announcement, they have a lot of lawyers involved acting on behalf of the government to ensure that Trinidad has gotten the best deal that was possible. But at the end of the day, let us let us be thankful that God has smiled on Trinidad again. Wow. And we have another boom. In the 1970s, we had it. In the, in the 2000s, the early 2000s, we had it. And first, look, look, things have just worked that as a consequence of the geopolitics. We're back in a position where Trinidad wow. could be what it always has the potential to be, which mm -hmm. is a leader on the world stage, no matter how small we are. And at the end of the day, give credit for the pe to the people who have made this happen. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, Mr. Ramdin. I want to tell you thanks for putting everything together for, for me today. Thanks. I really appreciate it. And, 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 and the other thing is, like Dr. Rowley said, you know, let us not jump the gun, but this is the opening of a door yeah, that can see a, a lot of potential yeah. because yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon is one field. Lauren Manatee is another field. We might have other developments and other relations with Venezuela. But at the end of the day, let us take it one step at a time, see what the government does. But I, I, I am very happy as a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago, that the government of the day has been able to bring to the table something that nobody else was able to do. And at the end of the day, Dr. Rowley has been the leader of the, the government at that point in time, and you have to give the man credit for that. Because I know when he went to Germany, I mean, everybody said it, so it, it, it was a, 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 a Mamagai trip, a, a Mamagai energy trip. But, you know, I remember people said that. I have newspaper well, clippings and whatnot. I, I, I also, I also remember when there were criticisms of Dr. Oli when people said he went to Germany as leader of the opposition. What he doing in Germany, meeting with people in Germany when he was leader of the opposition, and the man gave them the right answer, yeah. which is simply that he was preparing to go into government and yeah. doing the right things to get into government. True, if true, you want true. to sit, if you want to sit as an opposition and be satisfied to sit down in, in, in as an opposition and remain there as an opposition because you have no. No, your only ambition to go into government or your only plan to go into government is to criticize the government. Don't get better. Let we hope the government fail and we go automatically by default fall into 2010. Not going to happen again just like that, you know. This is a significant.
can step that will see this could see if if this thing is managed properly and the country managed is managed properly. properly that's the, I said that, that's it, the it, exact word I said it, yesterday. The, oppo the opposition, the opposition might not see government again for another twenty years, you know. Have you read them going? Okay. Have you seen? Have you seen any opposition MP? I want to ask you something. Yes. You have been at the energy conference. I know you are the energy conference this week. The energy conference is the one place. Is the one place where all the multinationals come together. I met all a lot the plans of development are being discussed. All the high level executives mm -hmm. are there. Have you seen one government MP in the any energy conference for this week? Opposition. You ever no, see that? No, no, none. None. But, but, but what does that tell you? What does that tell you? Is that is that is that a, is the, does that characterize a group of people who are in waiting to go into government, who have an appetite to say we want to get into government? Does that, does that really say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cynthia, go ahead. No, but that, that, that is the point. And if you're at the end of the day, right, you can only criticize people, right, when you have something better to offer, you know. True. True, Mr. Ramdin, but again... This is our energy. This is our... Listen. Right. Yes, we need to we need to develop the country. We need to have diversification. We need to do all of these things. But at the end of the day, what brings dollars and cents into the country, notwithstanding all that this year about climate change, at this point in time, gas and oil is what brings money into the coffers of Trinidad and Tobago. Right? That is what we are. Right? And that is what is moving us forward. Even though the con the whole world is moving in a different direction. Yes, we have to we have to diversify. And we have to get plans to become more green. And Dr. Rowley talking about wind energy and all these things. But at this point in time, right, while the grass is green, the cow can be starving. True. Well, I really hope And you I'm... don't see, what I can say objectively, is that I don't see, right, I was a member of the opposition in the Senate, right, and it is a shame for me to say that this kind of development is going to, all you can hear from the opposition is, Criticism, criticism, criticism. Not a plan of how, how we could do it better. What arrangements we would have had. What we would have done. How we could have accomplished this. Right? Or anything, that, any idea to bring on the table and say, well, you know, the government has said they're going to do this. But perhaps they should consider this. Have you heard that from anybody? Okay. You gotta fix your own house before you try to fix somebody else, you know, Mr. Allen. Well, I'm fully aware of that. I'm fully aware of that. Mr. Ramdin, I'm fully right, aware of that. Is, and, and that is the position. And, that, and, and country, just as you said, just, just as you said, I am being very honest with you. I'm fascinated. I'm excited. I mean, after attending the end, you know, just going and, and, hanging, and hanging around and whatnot. And now understanding the role and the, the position where, where we are now, I, and we are, we are, I mean, in a better place. And the morning you just get up and things just to, they're just, you know, bef you know, things just turn around like that. I'm really happy. I'm happy for Trinidad, you know, Trinidad and Tobago. I'm happy for everybody. I, I look forward to, to going back to Point Lisa's and, and